this one? Okay. This just smells too good. a long time later now y'all it's almost time for supper but I don't have to cook supper until later tonight or we might end up just getting something we're not sure yet it's just me Manly and Sissy here right now Titus and all the other boys went to I think they were helping somebody move a cow they went to do a few things I'm not sure what all it was but they're not gonna be back until around 7 or something like that 7 or 7 30 what we're about to do is gonna be fun we're gonna show y'all five last minute Easter treats that just take minutes to make. So I got all the stuff out. I think I have everything out that we'll need. Do I have many? Oh yeah, here are the mini marshmallows. I think we have everything. We have some pretzel rods and some of these pretzel fins. Um, I wanted the waffle style pretzels or I think they're just called snaps. You know, the ones that look like a little square waffle. <laughs> Walmart never has those in stock. If I ever get them, I usually have to get them from Ingles. But anyway, these work pretty good if you just get the pretzel crisps instead because they're big enough and flat enough, you know, to hold the stuff on top of them. We have Sprite. We have, this part is for a punch. It's like a strawberry Easter punch. Back here we have some peeps. Oh, these, I'm sorry, these right here are actually for Easter baskets. I just, they must have been in there with the peeps. Cece was helping me get everything out over here. We have pink and blue bunny peeps. Some more of these Reese's peanut butter eggs. Some almond bark. Some instant vanilla pudding. I'm not sure if I need two of these. Same thing with the whip topping. I can't remember. I'll have to look at the recipe. This is for the three minute Easter fluff that we're going to make. We have some bumblebee marshmallows. Parchment paper, wax paper, mini marshmallows, some straws, crushed pineapple, and then over here we just have some bunny sprinkles and some little treat bags. We'll make the one that has to be refrigerated for 45 minutes first. That is the Easter bark. I got these treat bags because the kids have a little Easter thing that they're gonna take some of these to. So for this one, we're using almond bark. You can use any kind of white chocolate candy melts or anything like that. We're gonna use this vanilla almond bark. I think we'll use seven squares for this part because we need one of the squares for, Sissy's gonna try to break it. I'm pretty sure we'll have to cut it. Oh yeah. We need some of it for the pretzels and we also, for the pretzel rods, and we also need a little bit of it to be pink. So I think we'll do seven squares. Pink, Mom, don't start part. without me. Okay. Sissy brought me this big bowl. We're gonna put this in here. We'll start melting it in the microwave for just 30 seconds each time until it gets where we want it. <laughs> until Easter. This is how the sprinkles look. It's the little bunny heads and then there's white crystal, sugar crystals in there. Oh, I need to get a nine by 13. We're starting to melt over here now. We'll use this little piggy. I'm gonna put just a little bit of the melted almond bark in here. Now, we'll sit this over here for a minute. Sissy, you can be coloring that pink if you want to. I'm okay. We'll pour the rest of this onto the wax paper. You have to work kind of quick with this stuff, especially when you put the coloring in it. So I'm gonna spread this out real quick. We're gonna pour this on top of here now. And then we'll just kind of swirl it around a little bit. Did not mean to just stick my hand in there <laughs> like I did. Now, the fun part. We just put some different- I'm a funny goose. You're a funny goose? <laughs> you are sometimes, huh? Now you can drop in whatever you want to put in. We have some sprinkles. You're just gonna sprinkle them over the top. You can put an egg here and there. 
and just kind of, you know, just decorate it. Ooh, I want to put a lot of bunnies. And I want to put a lot of sprinkles. Hmm. Hey, Sissy, I will put in your favorite color. It's a surprise. Okay, I'll put a yellow one. Okay. Oh, pink! Not too much. Is it done? Yep. So now we just put this in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes. Then we can break it apart. For this one, we need another baking sheet and some parchment paper. You got your bumblebee marshmallow ready? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna put some of our pretzels on here. We're gonna find these that aren't broken. Now we're gonna put a Hershey Kiss on top of each one of these. Okay. I'm ready for the pudding. <laughs> you ready for the pudding? Yes. Opening up the Hershey Kisses or whatever you choose to use is the part that's gonna take the longest. I was also gonna get the Reese's Mini Peanut Butter Eggs. Have y'all tried those? This is the first year I've seen them. Those things are amazing. They're pretty much as amazing as the peanut butter bunnies from Aldi. They are great. <laughs> I don't know if it's because they're mini or what, but you gotta be careful, because mm. you'll be thinking, oh, it's just a little mini one, mm. and before you know it, that whole bag is mm. gone. So once we get these in the oven, they just go in there for about two minutes or so, uh. just long enough to soften up the Hershey Kisses, so that when we press the bumblebee marshmallow or peanut butter egg, whatever we put on them, it'll push that chocolate down. Sissy and Manly already have the bumblebees ready, the Reese's eggs, they're already in that bowl. So y'all know how I was like, I've got the oven preheating. Um, apparently I came over here and pressed bake, but forgot to press start, so it was not preheating. But we've got those ready anyway. We're gonna move on to the pretzel rods while we're waiting for the oven to preheat. You know what, I think it would be easier this time if my measuring cup is big enough. I think it is. We're gonna melt it in here because we need to dip the pretzel rods into the chocolate. So we're gonna melt the rest of this almond bark in here. All right, the almond bark is ready. I'm just gonna tilt this. I'm doing this part because the handle's kind of hot. And y'all can just start decorating. Put some sprinkles on there. We're That's still it. waiting on that oven to preheat for the, for the other one. See how fast this is though? These will be dry in no time. These don't take long at all. These are ready, so now we just take whatever you want to put on top and you press it down. And now, the one Manly and Sissy have been waiting for, Strawberry Easter, Easter punch. punch. That's right. So we're gonna put a scoop of vanilla ice cream into each cup. We'll take a peep and push the straw through. Now we'll put just a little bit of strawberry lemonade just to about the top of the ice cream. Now the Sprite, it's gonna bubble up. Bubble. Put a few little sprinkles on the top where it's all foamy. Now the one I'm most excited about, Easter Fluff. I love this stuff. The first thing we need is one cup of crushed pineapple with the juice. Now we're gonna mix in this 3.4 ounce box of instant vanilla pudding. And this is another one that needs to go in the refrigerator for a little while, but it's very fast to make it. And you can eat it right away. It just gets better the longer it sits. Now we're gonna put in one eight ounce container of thaw whipped topping. Some mini marshmallows. I love marshmallows and stuff like this. Fruit salad, fluff salad. Maybe just a little more marshmallows. A little bit of sweetened coconut flakes and a few chopped pecans, that's it. I think it would be really good, like when you get ready to serve this, to put a few cherries in it or strawberries just to, you know, give a little splash of red color in there. This stuff is great, y'all. Definitely needs to be on your table Easter Sunday the dessert table or the sides table. This one works for either one. So good, so we'll just cover it and it goes in the refrigerator. 
Like I said, you can eat it right now, but the longer it sits, the better it gets. We have these little bunny bags and some flower ones. Still not sure what we're gonna do about supper. If we decide to eat here, I'm making tacos, cause that'll be quick. Mama, if I want to play a game with Sissy, I have to wash my face and my hands and be nice. Yeah, is that what she told you? Yeah. Okay. Have fun. So we just take this off the wax paper now. And it'll just break right apart. 